Green means go. Let's look at the lights, and we're getting ready for the first race of the day. Stock 1000, the lights go out, and they'll go to that first hand left turn. Our first left-hand turn, and it's Peterson a with a good start job. for Corey Alexander on the inside. Yeah, look at the 23 of Corey Alexander, get... Travis Wyman, the 10. BMW moves into second. Alex Dumas did not get the start that he won. He's falling back to fifth. And that's basically where he lined up on the line, but he got a better start yesterday. You see Stefano Mesa on the 37, the Mesa 37, Kawasaki in fourth. Yesterday we seen Alex not get a very good start either, and he kind of worked through these guys pretty quick. Was really aggressive on the first lap, and that's what he's going to have to do today because he can't let the, the leaders get away. And look at that third bike in your picture there, Alex DeMaul. He was second place yesterday, and this is an 18-year-old Canadian that is looking for his first stock 1,000. this next chicane is where Ooh, not Alex gonna was making some passes They're too yesterday. wide, and he cut it. Now, Wyman, in theory, is supposed to give up that position, yeah. correct? If not, but you'll get a flag. I don't know. He was he was put off track, so I'm not sure what the do. But when you're a guy like Alex Dumas and the person in front of you is trying to pass the person in front of them, yeah. they're kind of on your line that you want to take the pass down, so it makes it a little bit harder. Um, but then again, yeah, you're right. Maybe then you slow down. Look at it. Speaking of somebody not slowing it down, Alex Dumas now on the inside. The M4X star Suzuki going underneath Corey Alexander. Alexander on that 23 Kawasaki. Oh, See the dust also. Yeah, Corey's looking anywhere he can to to get by him. And yesterday, Alex could run with the leaders. And you know, you kind of wonder why maybe he can't today. But they're running about half a second a lap quicker today than they they did in yesterday's race. And Dumas is best a 43-3, Alexander a 43-3. So they're running about the same times as Corey is able to find a way around. But again. They're running about dead on times where you have Wyman who can do a 43-1, Peterson a 43-0. They're just a little bit faster, but I mean, you can't get any closer than these two. You know, it's all about this battle here. You can see them getting bunched back up through that uh, second sector. If you're back there in third to Corey Alexander, next time around, you're gonna get the two flags. There goes Corey Alexander going to the inside. I'll say you need to pick them off one a lap. You don't wanna go to that last lap knowing there's two guys you have to pass. Now Alexander, does he have something for Cam Peterson? That was a really good pass by Corey there. Headed into turn 15, just got a good run out of 14 and got up the inside of Travis. And when they went in there, Corey had the line. They're also coming up on a lap where he could play, they could play a part in this as well. Cam's been doing this for quite a while, racing the international scene, coming up through the Red Bull. Oh, Mobile good game. move, Corey. And now did he push too wide? Peterson's gonna go underneath, a little bit of a wiggle. It's a lot of horsepower. Oh, and Corey he's able to close it off. How about that? I mean, getting by is one thing, but able to take that position and hold it was another at high speed. You can tell Corey's, you know, feeling good because as soon as he gets on somebody, he makes it happen. Look at Cam's this. Gonna try in the sh it's a tight place to try to pass. No, no, tight, tight place on a big bike with a lot of power. Where is Cam Peterson going to try and make his move the next time around as they go up this hill? Corey got oh, in the last big corner. Little time, wide. Oh. Way wide. He might actually lose second if Wyman stays in it. It's not the fast way around when you're blocking the insides like that, but when you're leading the race, you know, you have to, that's what you have to do. Corey gets a good run out of here again like he. Oh. Doing everything he can to hold him off. The 45 of Cam Peterson. We're on the last lap. The chicane, the final time. Big right hander, double sweeping turn. You get a good drive by Alexander. You might be able to drag race him. Again, Cam going inside. He scrubs a little speed, but he pushes it wide. And that GSXR 1000, I don't think you're going to catch him on that straight. But here comes Alexander, not able to do it back to back victories. And we have a new points leader in the stock 1000. Peterson, Alexander, and Wyman, your top three. And the uh, margin of victory for Cam Peterson. Point one nine six one ninety six thousandths of a second. Take a look at the results. Cam Peterson, Alexander, Wyman, top three, even with that penalty.